In this video, we're going to be looking at what digital programs mix color the most realistically. Now I'm going through five different programs. We're going to look at how each of these mix, uh, which ones don't mix at all. Uh, most of those will not be on the list. And if you have one that I missed, go ahead and put a comment in the comment section. And we'll talk about that in a follow up video. OK, so here we have uh, four different programs up. We have one more Clip Studio Paint that uh, does a very good job. So we're going to look at that here. So right away, looking here at Sketchbook Pro, this was not easy. And one of the things that you want to keep in mind, some of these will mix colors, but they don't do a really good job of allowing you to mix colors easily. You're switching between a bunch of different tools, searching, searching, searching for something that will allow you to blend. I love color blending. It is one of the most therapeutic processes in digital art when it works correctly. Now, what I want to talk about just real briefly, the technical sides of this, is that almost all of these use RGB color mixing. So you're doing red, green, and blue. However, when it's done with light versus pigments, you're going to get some differences here. The main difference that you're going to get, you're going to see right here. Uh, let's change this tool right here. So what we're looking at is this yellow to green. When we're looking at this on uh, an RGB, a light spectrum color mixing, what you're going to see is it turns into a kind of a gray color. It doesn't really turn into green. So here we are using watercolors. You can see that is actually bleeding out. All right, so Sketchbook Pro, I did not have any luck in this one. We're going to cancel this out. Uh, I do like the program in general. Actually, it's a great program, and color mixing with other colors works almost everywhere. Red to blue makes purple. Red to yellow makes orange. It's that yellow to blue making green that really gets lost. All right, let's pop open Clip Studio Paint so you can see this. Now in Clip Studio Paint, this is working really well because I'm using a custom brush uh, made by Kyle. Those of you are familiar with Kyle's brushes, he does a lot of Photoshop brushes and I really like his work. I'll show you which brush specifically I'm using. Okay, so here in Krita, uh, this was challenging. I'm going to show you what brushes I used there. And we're going to do this yellow to blue. So let's put some yellow right here. And let's see. I believe we're blending. I think with this one, let's paint with this yellow. Make this a little smaller. And let's pick this blue color. Now I do have a marked favorite, one that I, I definitely prefer. Uh, top two, really. Okay, so let's let's use this one, and we're going to blend this together. So this doesn't really work very well. You can see actually this this kind of grayish color, not green, that we're seeing here. All right, so let's look at these different ones. Um, here we should be able to see this pretty easily and it not seeing that that color change that we're trying to find. Can it do it? Yes, I think there's a process for it, um, but not very well. You can see here we can get most of those other colors. This is OK. All right, let's close Krita. Krita, again, great program, a lot of power. I like the built-in pop-up, the radio menu that, that's there. Let's look at ArtRage. And let's pop open our oils. Let's do blue and yellow. This is fine. We're going to use the palette knife. Palette knife I have set here on the left. You could use one of these ones as well, but I find this one works best for color mixing. 
So you can see here, we're not really getting a really good clean green color like over here. Go back to painting, use this brighter yellow and back to the palette knife. We can get a little bit closer here. You can kind of see it. if we spend a little bit of time here, we can get pretty close to a kind of spring green here. Uh, not super easy to do. We are able to get green from yellow and blue. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and close this. Uh, we're gonna look at Clip Studio Paint next. I'm gonna show you the settings I have. This is easy with the right tools, this is easy. All right, so let's paint again. Let's use our brush to paint. And let's color pick blue and color pick our yellow. Okay, now we're gonna use this brush. Now let's look at the type of brush it actually is. We're gonna expand this out. This is gouache from Kyle's. Uh, gouache, if you guys are interested in this, I can try and make this available. This is in my personal brush set. All right, so let's minimize that. This is a wonderful blending brush. It does a great job. And I'll show you, this is how the green, the blue to green should look, very much like this. All right, so let's look at the settings for this brush specifically. Okay, so you can see here these settings. Color mixing, notice this is turned on. Uh, this is uh, how I have this set up. We'll go through these quickly here so you can see. If there's uh, some portion of this that you have questions on, you can ask in the comment section. I like, I like this brush quite a bit. Okay, so that should be helpful. Okay, this is a different brush than the one I'm painting with. That means that uh, you're gonna have uh, different textures. So uh, you can actually just still paint with this brush. Just make the brush smaller and paint with this. It's really very lovely. Okay, so this is Clip Studio Paint. Beautiful color mixing. I like this a lot, but let's look at it with a regular brush. Okay, so this is not the gouache. This is one of the regular brushes. And let's blend these together. All right, so how do we blend? What is the secret to blending? So we have a blend option right here. Blend, let's select the blend option and start pushing these together. Now notice we are getting the same gray that we got before. So when you're doing this, uh, Clip Studio Paint does, does do beautiful color mixing as we can see right below, but it doesn't do it by default without some extra work. Great program. I really like Clip Studio Paint. Very fast, very responsive. Let's go ahead and close this. And let's look at Rebel 6 Pro. Those of you who know me know that this is my favorite painting program for a number of different reasons. Okay, so let's do the same thing again. Uh, this artist pad here on the side, this panel is from Tablet Pro. You can find it at tabletpro.com. All right, so let's go ahead and we're going to paint. So we're gonna press two and we're going to pick yellow. I'm set on watercolors by the way right now. Okay, and then to blend, every single brush here can be turned into a blending brush by pressing the keyboard shortcut four. So we press four, and you can see we immediately get these beautiful greens out of the yellow and blue. Now I have the UI hidden. Now this is in Rebel 6 Pro. So I'm using color pigments. If I turn off color pigments, we do that same thing again, 
Let's press two to paint. Here's our yellow. By the way, these color sets can be done with pigment colors. So I'm using a cobalt blue and a cadmium yellow light to get this. All right, right here, we're gonna press four again to go to blending on this brush. Notice we get the same thing that we were getting in the other program. So the magic here, Rebel 6 Pro is turning on pigments. This is not retroactive, we have to do this again but you can see how just this one little setting in Rebel 6 Pro can make all of your artwork more beautiful, more vibrant, more realistic with the colors. Now I'm gonna show you the same thing with thick oils. By the way, in watercolors, I'm using just the stock round brush right here. Let's do this with thick oils. All right, so we have our thick impasto on the Cobalt blue, cadmium yellow. Right here, we're going to blend it by hitting four. You can see how beautiful that is. Now we're gonna do watercolor. I'm gonna put this right over the top. We're gonna to use pyro, I don't know how to say that, pyro red, right over the top with watercolor. And let's watch what happens. What I like, one of my favorite and most enjoyable things that I like about Rebel is it has this living canvas. So if you zoom in, you can see the depth here, how the canvas has texture, that texture affects how the water, the wet paint moves around the canvas. The color mixing is beautiful. It's responsive, it's accurate, super enjoyable to use. Look how cool that is. All right, let's dry a little bit right here. Let's wet a little bit above it. And let's go back here. Check this out. Pretty amazing. I am a big fan. All right, you guys, that is my take on uh, the best color mixing available in digital art. Uh, my recommendation, if you want the easiest, best color mixing, go with Rebel 6 Pro. Uh, this is a fantastic program. Clip Studio Paint does a very good job with their color mixing. You just gotta make sure that your brushes are set up correctly. All right, if you guys like this type of content, please subscribe. Uh, if you want to check out the Tablet Pro software that I'm using here on the side, it has these radio menus and these touch buttons over here on the left or right. This is a great asset for anyone who's doing digital art or using their tablet or computer with a stylus. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, stay creative and have a wonderful day.